Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. I have an update to share about one of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. 30-year-old Georgia resident Glenn Simon was seen and heard on video. He was screaming at Capitol Police officers while wearing a tactical vest with a steel plate. He called them, quote, little fucking spineless fucking oath violating little fucking weasels. (laughs) Simon was also heard on video saying, quote, this is what a revolution looks like, folks. Gotta show these fuckers we ain't fucking around. It's the only way to get it done. Fear. In another video, Simon was heard encouraging the mob. He yelled, quote, let's go, let's make another charge. And Simon was also detailing his crimes on Facebook, of course. He shared photos and videos that he took inside the Capitol. And in one post, he wrote, quote, we weren't invited. We broke in here. In another post, he shared a photo of himself with another man. He was wearing an eagle mask and he wrote, quote, Feel like I took about 50 bong rips of pepper spray today, post victory picture after the ramming through of the Capitol building, hashtag free man don't ask, hashtag Congress ran away scared, hashtag they thought we wouldn't. In an interview with a newspaper following January 6th, Simon called Congress, quote, grimy, disgusting monsters. And he said that he went to D.C. to protect Trump. But then in a January 4th interview with the FBI, Simon kind of changed his tune a little bit. He did admit that he was at the Capitol, but he denied entering the building and he denied taking any photos or videos that day. So I guess Freeman do need permission. (laughs) So Simon was arrested on May 5th of last year, uh, but he was only charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct and parading in a Capitol. In status hearings, Simon pissed the judge off. He claimed that he had no idea that Congress was in session on January 6th. He also lied and said, quote, I was invited in. So that BS excuse fell apart when the judge pressed him for details. And then the prosecutor read a transcript of a recorded call in which Simon was heard saying, quote, did they invite us in? Fuck no, they didn't. This is our house. We don't need permission. So Simon admitted to the judge finally that he was, quote, with other protesters and was just going in. So Simon pleaded guilty to the parading charge in October of last year, but then it was actually thrown out because new evidence was discovered. There was a video that was found which showed Simon throwing an object at the Capitol and he was pushing against a police barricade. So in April, Simon pleaded guilty to a different charge. This was a slightly elevated misdemeanor of disorderly conduct in a restricted building or grounds. So for that crime, he was facing up to one year in prison, one year of probation, and up to 100,000 in fines. Chief District Judge Beryl Howe presided over this case, luckily, and she was not happy with Simon or the prosecutor, really. At the sentencing hearing, Judge Howe questioned the prosecutor about why they didn't charge him with a felony for attempting to obstruct Congress. She said that the government government's own evidence proved that he entered the Capitol for that express purpose. Um, The prosecutor would only say, quote, he got a break. And the judge also noted Simon's violent rhetoric and his desire to travel the country to, quote, provide backup for the police against Antifa. 
Simon's defense attorney cited a difficult divorce, and they said he had a downturn in his business in 2020. And so this was the reason he believed in conspiracy theories for some reason. Um, his attorney asked for only six months of home detention and then an extended period of community service, as well as probation. And they said they wanted this so that Simon could repair his relationship with his children. Judge Howe wasn't moved by his request. She told his attorney, quote, this is not the type of individual I want to be sending out into the community. He's demonstrated significantly anger and a belief in conspiracies. If I'm tasked with protecting the public from future crimes from this individual, why would I do that? Judge Hell also said that Simon, quote, helped incite the crowd. And although she conceded that his personal issues may have left him vulnerable to, quote, conspiracy theories about a stolen election being egged on by politicians, Judge Hal said that it was important for her to deter others, quote, whom also might be susceptible. And then she warned, quote, listening without question to political rhetoric that leads to serious offenses, criminal conduct is not an excuse when you're standing in a court of law. There are consequences for going along with the crowd with such unquestioning following of political rhetoric. You've got to use your common sense and your own sense of who you are and how you'd like to conduct yourself as an American citizen before just blindly doing what a political figure says. Um, in issuing her ruling, Judge Howell acknowledged that it would be difficult on his children, but she hoped that it would teach them a lesson as well. And with that, she sentenced Simon to eight months in jail, one year of probation, a $1,000 fine, and a $500 restitution fee. That is more like it. This is what a real judge looks and sounds like. This will actually deter people. And yeah, again, boohooing about, oh, I've got to repair my relationship with my children. You should have been repairing your relationship with your children on January 6th. Instead, you put Trump ahead of your children. He was more important to you. So all of a sudden now they matter. Not buying it, not buying it one bit. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. When and if I hear more, I'll let you know. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.